Greetings Captains, Gunship here. I just thought I would do a little extra review of the Maxim Gorky. I know I have uh, done a review video and if you haven't seen it yet it's, it's somewhere on my channel. Uh, basically uh, Maxim Gorky from stock to spaded. I've actually taken to this ship and I have used it a lot. In fact I have researched the entire Russian cruiser lineup without using any of the cruisers apart from this particular ships. So if you look into my research here you can see down the bottom here all of them has been researched. I just need to go and buy them which I will do when hopefully Gaiden does their half price sale when they tend to do when there's their birthday uh, event which tend to be in the end of October. I have used backups uh, but in generally many battles I've been able to just use the Maxim Gorky or maybe I got so far in the battle that it was not worth actually you know burning a backup uh, in order to to achieve that. Using the talisman on the ship as I did early on has been a great help and in terms of research points sort of max research point in a good battle v1 might be up to 20,000 RP so really good of course if you have a loss it could be a couple of thousand or, or whatever uh, but it has been a super ship to use I really like it and a few tips and tricks regarding the use of the ship now I say that I'm a similar expert at least on using the ship is you have <laughs> not immediately apparently well for most people it probably is but I didn't think about it after, before after a while because you've got two turrets at the front that only one at the aft this ship actually lends itself very well to bow tanking especially I had to do that because I didn't have any other cruisers to spawn in apart from using a backup so I wanted my ship to last as long as possible when I was in battle and if you think about it, if you face something, let's say a Prince Ergen, for example, well, if you meet him head on, bow to bow, he actually only has four guns against your six, right? So it is pretty good ship to use. Uh, using the SAP ammunition is pretty much all you need to do. I have sometimes used AP as well, uh, but it's personal preference. But SAP works, I think, as all rounder as, as a pretty good, good deterrent, and you can take down most ships with relatively ease. Uh, yeah, I definitely like it and I can highly recommend this ship. I had a lot of fun with it. And actually, why don't we just go and have a quick look at my service record on it. And if we just take everything away so we can just look at the Russians. Uh, you can see I've done spot on 100 battles and I have a win percent as well. Yeah, <laughs> 71. One wins 71% uh, of battles won. And I have sunk about 250 ships uh, so yeah brilliant ship uh, if you want to research the entire Russian fleet with it this is a good ship to get on the Gaijin um, marketplace I did, did check just before I made this video here 19 Gaijin coins if you don't already have the ship is, is the price of it for a light cruiser that says light cruiser um, and all of Russian only have light cruisers but it has 180 millimeter guns so it's almost a heavy cruiser um, in fact in some books it probably is, is listed more as a heavy cruiser than anything else it's a good ship and it does it does the trick so yeah just want to say that if you haven't done so before and you're considering grinding up the the Russian tree this is a good ship to get uh, and enjoy it uh, also a little note on the Afghan, when you swing it around, and if I do it like this, the angle of attack or the mud side you actually maximum have to show the enemy in order to fire all guns at the same time is a little bit narrower I think than the mother ships. I don't know for sure but it feels that way anyway. So, so that's worth uh, using that trick as well. And please remember the torpedoes. Torpedoes on this you only get three per side. So as you can see the torpedo turrets are just here where I have uh, the mouse pointer. So it's not a lot, but they do go 10 kilometers when you have the ship spaded. And that can actually take down quite a few targets. I certainly had a bit of luck with that as well. So, so don't forget about the torpedoes. After the latest changes as well, it's, it's worth having them. It doesn't make your ship as vulnerable as maybe it was before. 
um, the latest patch. So yeah, I think that you will really uh, enjoy using this ship uh, should you want to go and get it. So that was just a quick update for me. Gunship over and out.